Well, senior German politicians have called for stricter controls on the sale of guns in response to the shooting in Munich on Friday. An 18-year-old named locally as Ali David Sonboli killed nine people and injured 27 others at a shopping centre before killing himself. Well, we can speak to our Europe correspondent Andrew Plant, who's in Munich for us. Andrew, questions must be being asked about how this teenage attacker got hold of a gun and 300 rounds of ammunition. Yeah, they are. Certainly in the German papers this morning, those are the questions. Are the gun laws here in Germany strict enough? You can see here these tributes building up just since yesterday, since the raid was opened. But we're opposite the McDonald's here. That's where the shooting... Sorry, excuse me. That's where the shooting started here about quarter to six on Friday evening, where uh, David Sonbali started opening fire with that Glock pistol, carrying that bag with over 300 rounds of ammunition in it. So the questions here this morning, how was he able to get his hands on that gun? And remember, we heard from police yesterday that the serial number had been filed off. It wasn't identifiable. It was an illegal weapon. A lot of questions about whether the gun laws here are adequate. I just want to show you over here, people are still coming to pay their respects. We will avoid them. Obviously, they haven't come here to be on television, but I do want to show you uh, some of the tributes here this morning. Lots of flowers building up here. This is as close as people could get yesterday because the road was closed, but lots of tributes here today. Police telling us yesterday they found material, reading material in Sonbali's bedroom that showed that he was obsessed with previous mass shootings and they say that he had undergone some form of psychological treatment, been treated for depression. So lots of questions here today about Sonbali. Did he lure victims here? Talk of a fake Facebook account promising free food at that McDonald's on Friday night. Seven of his victims, of course, were teenagers. Germany here this morning, mourning the loss of so many young people. But lots of questions here still to be answered. Andrew Plant, thank you, Andrew, at the scene of the attack in Munich.